tell me about this magnificent display. This is our world, a city, my city. Artist Mary Fisher calls this destruction to ascension. It's the jaw-dropping centerpiece of the exhibit Textile Meditations. Textiles have always been something I loved. I started as a weaver in seventh grade, you know. I mean, I, I have always loved texture. So every part, every layer here you, I made. you made. Or I stitched on, and I stitched on, and paper lamination, and added more layers to an organza and silk and so on and so forth. This is handmade paper. It's paper pulp. I paint with the pulp and add fiber to it to give it some body. Mary's West Palm Beach studio is where her works of art come alive. How therapeutic is it for you? A very. It's yes. very therapeutic. It's where I go when times are hard mm -hmm. or times are great. It's where I go to my studio. This past year has been filled with hard times. First, the devastating loss of Mary's mother then breast cancer. A difficult diagnosis for sure, but not the only one Mary has endured. She lives each day with HIV. In the early 90s, Mary learned her late husband had infected her with the virus. I would never have asked to be HIV positive, but I believe that in all things there is a purpose, and I stand before you and before the nation gladly. Mary became an outspoken HIV AIDS activist and is noted for impassioned speeches before two Republican conventions. My call to the nation is a plea for awareness. Today, her mission continues. It's important that we talk about how to protect yourself. It's important to talk about testing because I think that younger people think it's a disease of another generation, and it's not. It's still here, and the numbers are rising again. Activism and empowerment woven into every fiber of Mary Fisher and her art. It's honoring the abilities, but it's also honoring what we all bring to it as women.